if you got Hicks and you have Judge, why would you go after Harper? Yeah. Unless they are thinking of trading Frazier, and you'd be still... You'd be oh, I just bit my tongue. You'd I be selling that. that God, it was that was oh, just, I don't never hurt seen it before. Oh my goodness! You're, you're right. Yo, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna bruise, but it'll be all right. Wow. Uh, you, maybe you could trade Frazier, and you uh, uh, you can't trade Gardner. Gardner's a ten to five guy. That gives him a blanket no trade right. clause. Well, what you're are you not trading get for him anyway. You're not trading Judge. And, and you said trade Frazier. It's he's got a concussion. You're not going to get true value for him. If he's healthy, though, blood. I mean that guy has yeah. a lot of talent. He was former fifth pick in the first I round. I agree. But I, I just look at it and go, wow, if they're going to go for one of the two big guys, I think it's going to be Machado now. I don't yeah. think it's going to be Harper just from this one move. Or is it also on the table that Frazier, they don't believe Frazier will be ready, which would be a shame. But is this, hey, I don't know if Frazier is going to be ready. We have to we have to bring Gardner back just in case he might have to be our starting left fielder. Yeah, but that's, that's a very expensive insurance policy. Very expensive. Because you could actually make the case Neil Walker could be outfield insurance but, policy. You know, uh, but also this, maybe maybe Frazier's not done, but just not ready. As you said, he will do well in the beginning of the year. He will have a good Talking April and May, Gardner. Right. So is it possible they'll say, listen, Frazier's not going to be ready for the start of the season. We'll give Gardner money. He will play well. And as soon as he starts to dip is when Frazier will be ready, and then we'll put Gardner on the bench. And maybe they think for a fast start. First couple, you know, two and a half months of the season, is he worth nine and a half million dollars? And I would tell you, I would have brought back Gardner, but, the, you know, my play would have been giving him the two million dollars and then maybe five. And, you know, you have to ask yourself the question, and this is with all due respect to Gardner, who I personally like a lot. He's, he's a real gentleman and he plays hard. Where's, where's he getting that anywhere else as a 35-year-old coming off the worst second half of his career? So... The Yankees obviously know all the benefits and the intangibles with this guy. He's a great clubhouse leader. He's an, still a plus-plus defender, in my opinion. Gets on base, even though a low batting average, he does have a high on-base percentage. They felt it was worth $7.5 million. So that's a little surprising. Again, how much are you going to put into your outfield? Because this is the last year of arbitration for Hicks. I think he made $2.5 million this past year. He's, he's due for a big raise. Uh, judge, um, I don't think he's arbitration eligible yet. Again, all of this becomes a moot point if they do trade Stanton, but I think that's easier said than done. First of all, he has to agree to it. Second of all, the Dodgers have to want to do it because I don't think that he would go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting start to the offseason. Yesterday, the announcement of um, Brody Van Wagenen for the Mets, and now this move with Gardner, they had until midnight tonight to do it. Uh, so they did it early, and they signed the deal. They've probably been negotiating with his representative.